Hey everybody, we're going to do some lower body stretching and um, a couple upper body stretches with a strap. So, see if you have like a belt, um, a yoga strap, you can use a flat band, um, just something that's long, maybe even a towel as long as it's, uh, you know, long enough and we'll get started on these stretches. Okay, so go ahead and come on down to your back. Be careful getting down onto your back. I suggest that you go kind of onto your side and then roll over. And then we're going to just uh, have one leg bent and then keep the other leg straight. We're going to get that strap over the foot, okay? So first we're going to start with the hamstring stretch. And you can do this with or without shoes. So don't worry if you do have your shoes on, that's fine. And then just pull back so that you feel a stretch in the back of the leg. Okay, now I suggest you push your heel to the ceiling so that you also feel the calf and then also the back of the leg. You wanna hold for 20 to 30 seconds, um, longer if you have time and do like a second round. And then if you want, you can also extend this other leg that's on the floor. Now notice when I extended the leg, my leg kind of shot forward a little bit, but I'm gonna to try to pull back a little bit more, but also keeping this other leg on the floor. Okay, and just breathe. And just try to relax so that you can stretch in the hamstring and get a nice stretch there. Pull back a little bit further if you feel like you can. Just get some tension on that. You don't want to feel pain, but you want to feel a nice stretch. Okay, now the next one that we're going to do is we're just going to let the leg fall out to the side so that we're stretching the inner thigh. So just hold on to the strap. Now don't let your hips come up. Try to keep the hip down to the floor so that you are um, keeping the body in alignment and then feeling a stretch coming right into the inner thigh, okay? So now we're right here. And then I suggest you try to pull up on the rope as much as you can. You may not be able to. This is going to feel pretty tight right here, okay? And just let that leg fall out to the side. Keep the abs pulled in tight and breathe. Okay, now let's move our leg back up. Now you can go through these a second round. I'm just gonna keep moving so that we can get through these stretches. Now look how I'm coming across the body. So I'm coming across the midline, which is the center of the body. And now I'm feeling this down the side of the leg, the IT band, okay? Now you do not wanna roll all the way over like this because then you're not gonna feel it. You have to work on kind of keeping this hip down and just pulling the leg from the hamstring position and then just letting it fall over to the side. And just hold on to the strap. And again, don't let the weight of your leg pull you all the way over. So maybe you've done this kind of stretch in a yoga class or something like this, but this one is really uh, quite painful. There's a lot of tension right here going down the side of the leg. That's where you should feel it, okay? The side of the leg. Breathe. Okay, now the next one, we're just gonna stay in the same position with the strap over the leg. Now notice how I roll around. Look at this, I'm rolling around, okay? And now I'm gonna bend both knees. I'm gonna scoot up so you can see. I'm gonna bend both knees, and now look how I'm stretching the quadricep and the hip flexor. And this stretch feels really great, guys. Um, right through here and even into the quad. Now, uh, be careful, you may not need to pull back that much. You don't want the knee to flare up too much. You really want the knee to stay um, down so that it's not flaring up too much, okay, so that you can actually feel this in the right place. And then what else I recommend you do is while you're stretching is squeeze the glute muscle on this side and you'll feel it more like right in the hip flexor, okay? And you can kind of pull back. My knee is going back a little bit, but it's not going up too much. So you just work within, go ahead and stay there. Just work within your range of motion on that one and uh, don't, don't do too much, okay? All right, now let's flip over to the other side. 
So again, uh, be careful getting down on the floor with your back. I just kind of lean back, but let's go here. Now I'm going to show you so you can see my foot. This leg is straight. So go ahead and work on getting the strap on the opposite side. Strap on the opposite side. Foot is flexed. Breathe, extend the opposite leg if you want. So again, we're stretching the hamstrings right here. These lower body stretches feel great. I recommend you do them as many times as you can and do it throughout the week too because not just after your workout because they'll really help you uh, to start increasing your flexibility. Okay, now come on out to the side again. So again, you know, and pulling up as much as you can. You decide this is that inner thigh, a groin area might feel kind of tight. So be careful there. And try to let the muscles just relax and um, it's easy to want to tense the muscles but just try to let them relax okay then let's come back to the hamstring and then go across the body oh my goodness this feels really tight so notice how I'm not lifting over like this. See, this is how it should look. So it looks like I'm still lifted a little bit here, but I'm really, I've uh, got my hip down quite a bit. Um, you can kind of push down and feel if you, if you think you're lifting. And that even makes a difference if I put a little pressure there. So you want to feel it right down here through the side of the leg, okay? And this one is not going to feel that great. You're definitely going to be able to feel it. Try to keep the foot flexed too. So keeping not the toe pointed, but again, flexed like this. Okay, now I'm gonna show you from this side, how, look how I just roll around. So I just take the strap, okay? And then I'm just gonna place it kind of over my shoulder and pull around to the quadricep stretch. Okay, so keep holding here. Go ahead and keep holding and just pull it around. Keep holding a few more seconds and then go ahead and get up. So let's go ahead and stand up. I'm going to show you um, two other exercises for the upper body with the strap. So let's go ahead and move to the standing position. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take the strap and we're just going to open the arms and we're going to open the chest. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to grab towards the end and you want to actually be able to grab as close as you can, okay, but keeping the arms straight the whole time, all right, straight the whole time. Now, you don't want to do this because that's like defeating the purpose, really. If you need to do that, you need to move your arms further apart, or sorry, your hands further apart. And then we're just gonna go around and then back. Okay, so you, you should feel it pull and stretch in the chest and the shoulders. This is really good for the rotator cuff. Okay, but again, be careful, take it slow. And again, you want to try to reach in as far as you can, but still keeping those arms straight. Oh, this is almost too much for me. That's about it right there. I made it, but I'm questioning if I can make it back over. I'm going to have to bend the elbows. So see what I mean? So just keep going there. Okay. And then the last one we're going to do on both sides. So you're just going to hang this towel, strap, or band, whatever you're using. Um, with one hand and then you're going to reach behind okay and grab the other end and then we're going to use the top hand and we're going to pull up so that now what i'm actually stretching is this side okay so i'm actually stretching um the opposite side i'm pulling up on the strap i'm pulling up on the strap and i'm feeling the stretch right through here okay in the rotator cuff area again and make sure you keep the wrist straight 
and then this one might feel pretty tight guys i mean i can get my hand up pretty high on this side in the back but on the other side i'm gonna be really tight because i know i'm kind of uneven on each side okay all right so let's go ahead and take that down slow now when you move that hand out from behind the back be real careful kind of shake it out because that feels really tight for me and it will for you too if you're tightening the rotators and another one if you don't feel comfortable using the strap then you can simply just place your hand behind the back like this and it'll get you some stretch right here okay so let's go ahead and finish with the other side so again you just lift the, the, the arm up hold the strap and then we're going to grab in the back okay so i've got a hold of the strap or towel whatever you're using and then again now i can tell i'm not getting near as much range of motion on this side but that's okay that's why we're working on it and just hold and breathe now i encourage you to go back through these stretches and use these stretches as often as you can and um you know in the morning real quick or in the evening um you want to do it after your workout after a hot shower, after some cardio, something um, after your muscles are actually warmed up is when you wanna do the stretches. Okay, so bring that down real easy there. You can shake it out, and again, you can even place that hand behind the back. Ooh, I'm really tight. Okay, and just even hold it like this instead of doing the strap on the rotator, all right? So there you go, hope you enjoyed those, and hope those help you to get more flexibility. I'll see you later.